welcome to another adventure here on my channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Designer Dust Co. Face Sprinkles because since season two of Euphoria has come out and I am still on season one, so do not put any spoilers in my comment section. But since season two has come out, glittery, sparkly, Euphoria-inspired makeup has been all the rage on social media, and people have found out what brand of glitters the makeup artist uses. It's Lemonhead Co., I believe, or just Lemonhead glitters. But unfortunately, Lemonhead glitters are pretty darn expensive. They have a pack of six glitters that are used on the show, like the exact colors and glitters that are used on the girls on the show, on the actresses by the makeup artists. And those six glitters, the pack for those six glitters is $98. So, um, that's a lot. That's a lot of money to spend on glitters, but I found an article by Team Vogue saying that Designer Dust Co. was a really good quality dupe for these glitters. And I had really been considering splurging, saving up my fun money, and buying the Lemonhead glitters. So when I heard there was a good quality dupe, I decided to go for it. Now obviously that does mean I will not be able to compare these to the Lemonhead ones because I didn't buy them because they were that's out of my price range, out of my budget, but I am someone who really loves glitter anyway, so I can compare them to other pressed glitter formulas I've tried and just let you know if these are good quality on their own, even if it's not in comparison to the thing they are duping. But if you're just curious about if I buy this, will I be satisfied? Is it a good quality product? Then I'm here to answer those questions for you. So I'm going to talk a little bit about the purchasing experience and then about the pros and cons of the product, and then I do have an application demo of this look right here, very Rue inspired with the glitter tears. So with that, let's go ahead and dive right on in. First of all, the purchasing experience. When I went to explore this brand's website, see what they had, I was so pleased to find out that they have a build your own custom glitter palette tool on their website, and that's what I in the end decided to do. So Lemonhead Co. does not have this. You can obviously like buy things individually, but their set palettes are just set. Whereas Designer Dust Co., they do have set palettes, pre-made palettes that you can buy or you can create your own. It is a little bit more expensive to create your own. I think the price difference was $35 for a pre-made one and $40 for a custom one, but to be able to choose my own shades, to me, that is worth it for the price difference. I could literally just get the shades that I wanted all in one place, all in this convenient palette format, and I decided that I wanted to try to dupe out the Lemonhead Euphoria set, so I'll have that picture pop up right here. And I think I did a fairly good job duping them with this row and these two. These two I don't think are exact dupes, but I think these are pretty close, and this one right here is definitely a dupe of the shade Houdini from Lemonhead, which I think is their most popular, like, coveted shade, and it is the shade Light Catcher. Light Catcher from Designer Dust Co. And the names of the shades that I use to dupe out the Euphoria glitters are Light Catcher, Sunshine Bay, Bubblegum Bay, Mermaid Vibes, Do T D U E T E E and Domino. I'll have those ones listed down in the description if you would like to check them out. Also, despite the fact that this is a very, very small indie brand, from what I understand, it's just a one-woman show. I did chat with her very briefly on Instagram DMs when I posted to my story that I had purchased this, and she did say she had an assistant, but I don't know if that's like an all-the-time assistant, just a once-in-a-while thing, but either way, this is a one-woman ran, possibly one or two employees, I don't know how that works, but a very, very small indie brand. But despite that, the entire experience of ordering through receiving my package was very professional. I even got, where is it? One of these cute little makeup postcards that come with a lot of brands, products. So if you are worried about ordering from such a small brand, I didn't have any issues in that regard, and they actually shipped out way sooner than I thought they would, because on their website it clearly states that your products may take up to two weeks to ship and add another week to that if it is a custom product. So I was expecting this to not get to me for like a month, and it shipped out in less than a week. I can't say that will happen for everybody, but that was my experience, and I don't think everyone is going to necessarily take the two to three weeks to get their orders, or at least for it to ship out. Obviously shipping times the brand has no control over. And then with that, the product itself the good, the bad, and the glittery. I'm kind of, 
I'm kind of proud of that because that just came to my mind. I wasn't I wasn't planning that because I was like, there's nothing ugly about these. So what am I going to say? The good, the bad, and the glittery. Designer Dusko, if you would like, you can have that as a tagline because I think it's clever, but I don't know why you would want it because it says bad. But anyway, anyway, um, the quality of these glitters is genuinely outstanding. These probably might, no, absolutely not probably, absolutely my favorite glitter formula I have ever tried. I am already someone who loves self-adhering glitters, but this particular formula is so good. The first time I tried them, I was like, I'm gonna try these without any glitter glue just to see how it does, and then I'll use some glitter glue next time to see if that improves it any. But the thing is, I did not end up using these with glitter glue because they genuinely didn't need it at all. Every single bit of glitter that I put on my face at the beginning was still on my face at the end of the day when I took the glitter off every single time that I've used this product. No glitter goes anywhere. And I am used to glitters, even good self-adhering like pressed glitters, having a little bit of fallout throughout the day, having a couple sparkles just kind of falling off and not being there, not making it to the end of the day when I take my makeup off, not with this. These stay on my face where I put them, whether it's on my lid, whether it's under my lid, whether it's around my highlighter area, which is my personal favorite way to wear glitter. Beautiful, love it, so good. Like these stay on your face and it is wonderful. But despite the fact they're so hardy with like staying time, you do have time at first to work with them. They're still a little emollient when they go onto your face. So you can work with them and get them in the shape and placement that you want without having to like, oh no, rush super fast. You do have some time to work with them before they dry down. So I really, really like that feature about these glitters because I do find some other pressed glitters I've tried in the past, which these aren't really pressed glitters. These are more of a gel formula, but with other glitters I've used in the past, their self-adhering glitters, it seems to be like once you put them down, that is where they are staying. These, I like that they have some manipulability before they dry down. And I also like that even though they are manipulatable, malleable. The word I'm looking for is malleable. When they first go on, they do still stay where you put them. Like I put them on my lid and I didn't have to keep my eyes closed until they dried in order to make sure they stayed in place. Once I put them on, I could open my eyes and go about my business and not have to wait for them to dry down. I knew they would and I knew they would be fine. However, there was another reason that I kept my eyes closed until they dried down because unfortunately, if you put too much of these around your eyes, kind of like I am today, it stings just a little bit. You know when you're cutting an onion and you're just like, ow, the air hates my eyeballs. It's a little bit of that. It's not nearly as bad as cutting an onion. I just noticed I was a little bit sensitive to it and my eyes would tear up just slightly when I would put too much of these on. If I did a really light layer of glitter on my lid, then it was fine. But if I really like wore glitter and wanted it to be very impactful, I did have that. But it did only last until the glitter dried down. Like right now, I am totally fine. I don't really even feel this on my face. I don't feel it around my eye at all. Though, Technically, glitters, even though these are cosmetic grade glitters, are not eye safe anyway. You're not supposed to put any glitters around your eyes. You're supposed to use them on like your hair and your cheeks and all of that. But does that stop me? No. So it's very much a use your own discretion type of thing. However, I do know these make a really bomb highlighter and especially these more iridescent shades, which are my personal favorite types of glitter, which is why I had so many of them in the palette. Beautiful, beautiful as a highlighter. I love them so much. This shade in particular, what is it? Daybreak, super gorgeous. I think this is my favorite one. I'm not gonna swatch them all, but just so you can kind of see, I don't know if that's showing. I just got a little bit of it, but like that orangey, you can't really see it until the light hits it. It's so beautiful. I love that. And something else I love about this palette is the fact that even though it's a custom palette, all the names are still on the sticker on the lid and they line up to the specific pan that that shade is in. And that that is so convenient, especially as a YouTuber, an Instagrammer, a beauty influencer, that I can still just tell you, let you know, hey, this is the exact shade of glitter I am wearing from this brand. Very helpful, very useful. And even if you're not an influencer, a YouTuber, if you just really love like one or two shades and you go through them and you don't wanna repurchase the whole palette, you can still just go online and find that specific shade. I also really like how airtight this packaging is. Like you can really hear it 
like clip down and seal because these are in a gel they can dry out on the website it says if they dry out you can add a little bit of water to rehydrate them which i like but i also don't want to have to do that too much so the fact that this is so solid makes me happy it also comes with this little silicone top thing that i keep on it to also help with that because even though these are not nearly as expensive as the Lemonhead ones it's still $40 for a glitter palette like I want it to last a decent amount of time and I'm not going to be going through this particularly quickly. When it comes to removing these glitters I kind of have good and bad news because like the bad news is it's still glitter. It's still glitter it's not particularly easy to get off but on the other hand, it's not particularly difficult glitter to remove either. I find that my usual nighttime skincare routine, just with a little extra vigor with my makeup remover towel thing around the areas I have glitter, will remove it. So it's not the worst thing in the world to get off, but it's still glitter. So it's kind of a it is what it is type of thing. And I think that's everything. I think that's everything I wanted to say about this palette. So let's go ahead and dive right into the demo application. So let's go ahead and dive into that. All right, I know you've already seen it, but I'm kind of going for like a Rue inspired look with the glitter and like the glitter tears. And I've looked up some pictures and it seems kind of like she does a triangle of glitter under here. So that's what I'm gonna go for. I am going to be using the shade, the glitter shade Love Both Ways, the bisexual pride glitter. Um, and hoping hoping this turns out cute. I mean, I know you've already seen it, but I think it'll look nice. I'm just gonna take my little glitter tool and there's enough on the silicone that I'm gonna take that kind of just on the side of my little silicone applicator. And I'm gonna start by just underlining my eyes and then I'll kind of pull it down and back up. Yeah, um, maybe I'll try to make it a little cleaner, but I'm really impressed with how easy that was to do. I haven't quite done this shape before. Oh, it's doing that thing where it's stinging my eye. And there we go. Let me know down in the comments, have you been enjoying the Euphoria makeup trends on Instagram, on TikTok, all of that? Are you kind of over it? Are you watching Euphoria? Have you seen season two? Like I said, please no spoilers. Who's your favorite character? Who do you ship? Personally, and like I said, I'm only on season one, so I don't know how this changes. Maddie and Cassie as a ship? I'm into it. I think it would be good because they both deserve better. They both deserve better than what any of these guys are giving them. I swear this show is just the girls of Euphoria High School and the boys that ruin their lives. Like, I know the girls don't make the best decisions, but I'm pretty sure Nate is an actual sociopath. Like, anyway, um, Thank you so, so much for watching. Let me know if you're interested in checking out these glitters. If you don't really do glittery makeup at all, I would love to know. And with that, I will see you all next time.